They used to say that seeing is believing, but in the age of AI, can you spot the difference between the real and the artificial? This woman's walk through Tokyo never happened. She is a software generated image made in seconds from a simple text request. On the same software, if you type a prompt for a snowy day in Tokyo, this is what the software will create. Picturesque, but not quite perfect. Yet to many, this is science fiction turned fact. Worlds instantly generated by a click using the new software Sora by this Goliath tech firm. GPT-4 is the latest AI system from OpenAI. The company, given $10 billion by Microsoft, once positioned itself as the voice of regulation and steady progress. But as this technology advances, we understand that people are anxious about how it could change the way we live. This was before OpenAI put the throttle to the floor. They have faced allegations that they have breached copyright and data laws by seizing content posted online. But OpenAI told us the content they mined for Sora was licensed and publicly available, despite being a contested area. Only large companies with market dominations often can afford to plow ahead, even in a climate where there is illegal uncertainty. So does this mean that OpenAI is basically too big to control? Yes, at the moment OpenAI is too big to control because they are in a position where they have the technology and the scale to go ahead and the resources to manage legal proceedings and legal action if it comes its way. And on top of that, if and when governments will start introducing regulation, they will also have the resources to be able to take on that regulation and adapt. In this Soho quarter is a public exhibition of human imagery. But whereas humans once used software to improve their work, now software is mining the work of humans to improve their company's share of the market. Technology has long been used to enhance the imagery of human-generated pictures. But the influx of new software that can manipulate and create pictures from scratch is causing concern, especially as it ends up in the hands of malicious actors. Le président français Emmanuel Macron just yesterday, this circulated on social media, a video seeming to show a France 24 report of President Macron cancelling a visit to Ukraine over assassination fears is a deep fake propaganda video originating in Russia. The risk of AI kind of shouldn't be overstated, so there's often a lot of concerns about manipulation in elections and around vote choice. Now, we know it's really hard to change people's minds, but what it can do is really distort the information landscape. It can fuel distrust and cynicism in politics. These images released by OpenAI have already been doctored online. The acceleration of this software is about more than just what is real, but how quickly the once impossible is now mundane. And the big boys of AI are not being curtailed by the dangers. <laughs>